Hey guys, Robert here. I've got a quick video for you today going over my browserizing template that I've created for Pro Tools 12. And I also have another one for Logic 10. I'm gonna give you a quick peek at the template routing, how I set it up, and how you can use these templates that are available in the description of all of my browserizing videos. So in this one for Pro Tools, on the left here we've got some audio tracks. Now I've just created these as placeholders. You can of course study the routing and then import your own tracks and duplicate the routing. So for our keys, we've got it going to the A bus, our drums and bass are going to the B bus, guitars are going to the C bus, background vocals and effects are going to the D bus, and then we have our vocal going to the five compressors, two of which are for the verse, three of which are for the chorus. And then at the end here, the two mono 1176 buses. So on all of these buses, I've put in the stock compressor in Pro Tools and I've already calibrated it to Brower settings. So this is a pretty good, just open it and get going, get mixing, import your tracks and start having some fun. Oh, and then just one last thing, all of the instruments and effects are going to a dummy bus. So this is a bus that the output just goes nowhere. We're not gonna hear it. Because Browerizing is not a parallel process, we still need all of that audio running and we need the ability to send it to more than one place. So that's why we use the busing approach instead of the channel outputs. Busing easily lets you send audio to multiple places, which you can do with the outputs in Pro Tools, but not in other DAWs. So this is a great way to get familiar with Brower's workflow. So I hope you give it a shot. Pro Tools 12 and Logic 10 users, check the description below for some free downloadable Browerizing templates. Thanks for watching. We've got a whole bunch of cool stuff coming in the next few weeks. So stick around and I'll see you in the next video.